Hello and welcome RF Generation family to another episode of a brief look at, this time with Curse of the Dead Gods. Uh, for the Nintendo Switch is where I'm playing my copy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just jump into where I'm at. Uh, Curse of the Dead Gods is a roguelike, um, sort of in the realm of Hades if you've seen any of that. Uh, I actually haven't played in a little bit, so we're going to try and remember what we can do here. Uh, I am a slight bit through things already. Uh, so we're gonna... I will... I will take that. And so... Uh, this is a very kind of methodical... Action RPG style. Uh, I've got my, my gun here. My mace. Uh, you can see below my character some action dots. Uh, they are... Kind of, uh... We're, doing. we're just gonna go through. I'm gonna do the Blood Hunter Hunts uh, kind of level one mission here. Uh, and as you can see, you, you pick an area map similar to if you've played um, Slay the Spire. Uh, you wind up with that. I'm gonna go this way and try and get a better weapon right off the bat. Um, but yeah, so so far, the this game is just kind of run through a dungeon, kill stuff, make it through to the end. Uh, there is a light mechanic, as you can see by my torch here. Uh, which can charge up, and I just learned that. So, there's something new. Uh, you have your mace. Uh, as of right now, I have a mace. Uh, but we will make sure to keep the lights on here. And attempt to, uh... Beat some stuff up. Uh, there is a die roll and a parry. Uh, I have just parried that gentleman. And a, a multi-kill meter here. I am... Uh-oh. Gotten hit. Lost combo. Man, that guy hit me twice. I'm a little mad about that. Alright. <laughs> uh, so not only is being in the dark a bad thing. Because you can't see stuff. Ow! That jerk. Ah, man! I really probably should have dealt with those barrels much earlier. <laughs> uh, but as I was saying, so not only is being in the dark bad just because you can't see things, uh, traps actively don't render uh, in the dark. Um, so you just wander into things uh, real bad. Ooh, a barbed whip. What do we got? What do we got? We've got a sky hammer. Ooh, ooh, that's, oh, that's two-handed lightning damage. Uh, Storm Lash secondary. That's a really cool item. We're gonna take that. Um, we'll have to change that. So you can, uh, you can see Offer Gold is grayed out because I only have 150 gold here. Uh, but Offer Blood, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna Offer Blood for this. Uh, and it is Offering Corruption. So the deeper you get into the dungeon, you do more and more actions. So there's our lightning whip. Uh, but you do more and more actions that are uh, give you corruption. Uh, opening every door will give you uh, 20 corruption. So after we open this door, you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a corruption gauge. Uh, that we're going to go ahead... Uh, I'm going to go this way and get some attributes. So we're corrupted. So we get a negative through the rest of this dungeon run. That we have to live through. Gold puncture. Uh, each door imposes a payment of 300 gold. Uh, each gold not paid is converted to damage. If all gold is paid, 10% max health is restored. Okay. Uh, so that's not great. Uh, we're going to be real poor real fast. Uh, so I'm going to do that, but I'm going to... I'm going to put my thing away. You can see that... The ground looks fine without having the torch out. It's a really, really neat... Uh, let me let me go ahead and take something else out. Yeah, it's a really, really, really neat effect that they get, the game has. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and light this guy on fire here. Ow, I've been corrupted. 
Ow, I got hit. Not great. Not great ways to go right now. Things are things are not looking good. Smith and Weston. Uh, incendiary pistol. No, I need to offer that to the gods away and get 50 more gold so that we can pay for this door. I'm not not a fan of this curse. Uh, it's gonna hurt. Oh, we're gonna dodge through that, and I missed some gold, uh, which is gonna be a problem. So we can't really go that way. Here's some. Uh, after they are parried, enemies take a bonus damage. So it's actually better to smack the guy that you parry, but, like, he's stunned for a little bit, so. Now, I really, really like the combat in this game. It's got a lot of weight to it. Uh, it feels... Uh, my, my complaint with Hades, because if you've noticed, this is that same kind of isometric, top-down, roguelike style uh, game as, as Hades, which is a very, very popular game. Uh, the things that this lacks, uh, this lacks the story to be as... Ah, that was a lot of corruption. I should have dodged. There we go, there's some, some greed kills. Uh, but what, what this definitely lacks, uh, we're gonna need health, that's 10% damage, we're gonna... Uh, we're just gonna offer blood for both of them. We're corrupt all over. Oh, and I should move the RF Generation logo, because I don't think you guys can see. There we go. Now you can now you can see the corruption gauge that I was talking about, now that I've mentioned it. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to go... Gold here. Uh, we did pay, so we did heal that. So good news there, but I think we are corrupted. And we will get yet another one of these... Lovely things! Fool's bounty! What do we have? Open a gold chest, now inflicts corruption. Gold chest contain more gold! Alright, that's that's good. So, well, we have a save available. Uh, that we're not going to use, we're going to keep going. Uh, one of the other things about this kind of a problem is that uh, if you're in the dark, you take more damage. Ooh, minus 10% blood offering cost. No. Oh, well, that was a dumb thing to get rid of. I don't know why I did that. Now that I've thought of all of our wounds... Uh, things probably could have used that. Ow. Could also really use to stop getting corrupted as, as badly as I am here. Uh, there's definitely some sort of mega corruption in this. There we go, yep. Increase stamina by one, yes please. Uh, your stamina bar, um, as you can kind of see, uh, with certain actions, uh, goes down. And that is, uh... Not great uh, for you to run out of said stamina. I don't know, like ends of combos or yeah, that same kind of punishment. Uh, a lot of gold in here, so we needed that. We need to be able to pay our way through because uh, things are about to get real dicey. Uh, we are here. We we're just gonna go straight gold until the end of the run. We've got good weapons. We've got good stuff. Let's see what we can do. Uh, more corruption. This is a really corruptible, uh, run here. Raging Temple. All Jaguar statues now trigger fireballs. Alright, cool. That's a lot of fireballs. Uh, I really, really like the traps in this game. They're all very interesting. They're all super neat. Uh, they all look amazing. Uh-oh. Uh, stop extinguishing the fire. Man, that lightning whip is really doing some work. 
Uh, hey, and we got a... A spear here. Uh, we'll take it. We don't have a two-handed weapon yet. A two-handed weapon to take... Uh, it takes stamina to wield. So every swing on a two-handed weapon. Uh, but they are usually very good. Ow, man! A lot of damage. 400 gold, but some corruption. Ooh, a dragon civ gun. Poison attacks. Uh, 50 gold, please. Whip, whip. Ugh, man, these chests that give me corruption are not great. Restore 40. 4% max health. Um, corruption. If you haven't noticed, there's uh, the corruption meter has those five little symbols. Right now I've got three of them glowing. One of them blank and one of them blank and red. Uh, the red one is apparently supposed to be really terrible. And I don't know. Uh, we have... I have not, uh, not seen a red one yet. Um, we are very close to getting our fourth corruption. Uh, I'm just gonna set this room ablaze. Ow, man! Get out of here, I'm done. Oh, cool, 20% base damage for whips? Yes, please! I will take... This whip has been doing excellent for us, and so any additional base damage for that relic. Uh-oh. 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 Well, that was an unpleasant walk. Ow. Ow. Uh, things are getting particularly unpleasant this run. And I don't know why. Ow. Ow. There we go, we'll take some extra... extra damage there. There's some money. Things are... things are not looking up. For this particular run, what's our item here? A relic. Gain 100% of damage taken in gold. Ooh. Uh, that might actually negate the problems at the door. 45% uh, damage against weakened enemies. Well, plus one level on cursed weapons. No, I think we, I think we offer blood because it's just the way things are. We offer blood for this relic, we get the extra damage boost, we get 100% of damage taken in gold, so we don't have to worry about that too much. Uh, and then I think, I think we just keep on moving. Keep on moving, because we're in trouble. Let's see what we got, we got one of your relic slots is locked and may no longer be equipped. You gain three divine favors, that's kind of nice. Uh, Divine Favors let you re-roll at those shops. Um, but it's certainly not worth a locked relic slot. Oh. There we go. Alright. We're getting there. I also have not played uh, this in a little while from when I'm recording this. On a controller that I am not used to. It's kind of perfect storm for not doing well. Nice! This lightning whip. Uh, steel tip dagger. Uh, no, I will offer that for minus four corruption. Uh, even though we're not all that bad off right now. I mean, we're very bad off, let's be real. I, I really, really, one of the things that I very much like about this game is the weapons. Uh, like I said, not only does the combat feel very good, but the weapons feel very good. Uh, everything feels very unique and very different, and 
um, very weighty. Uh, and it's one of my biggest complaints with uh, Hades when I was playing it, is that while the story and everything was very good, um, it didn't... I don't know, like, the combat didn't feel very, very good. And so I understand why everybody really latched onto it, because the story and the environment and uh, the characters are all so wonderful. Um, but then I played Curse of the Dead Gods and went, oh, this is what's missing from Hades. Okay. Uh, that center is just death. Um, let's, let's not do that. It was very interesting to be able to just kind of accurately pinpoint the exact thing about a game that I didn't like. Yeah, get out of here. Get flamethrower. Ow! Yeah, the elemental effects in this game are great. The uh, We're going to find out what being maximum... Maximumly corrupted does, and I'm gonna record it. This could be very bad. We're we might not make it out of this dungeon. I don't think we're going to. Oh, uh, we're in trouble. There we go. Ugh. Gross. This mace has fire attack. Uh, this claw has fire attack. Oh, we're gonna send it off for health. Uh, we're fully corrupted anyway. We Once we open the door, we might as well. Um, sure, I'll take that. Why not? Let's see. Unknown and unknown. We're gonna go to this unknown. And, uh, we're gonna find out what a final corruption looks like. Uh, I'm not even gonna attempt to do that. Health drops over time until it reaches 1 HP. Oh boy! Oh, that's fast. Oh, that's very fast. Uh, no wonder this is kind of a problem. Alright, we'll just whip everything to death and run. We've got... What's here? What can we take? 30% uh, damage and darkness. 100% to all healing effects. Now we want the damage. Let's go. We'll even pay for it. Because uh, we only have a boss fight left. Let's see if we can survive while we're... Basically poisoned. Uh, we're gonna run, run, run. And here is the boss. Uh, he's not a fun guy. Ow. None of these damages matter. I'm on a timer anyway. There we go. Whip, whip. Just lightning. Ow. We got him! We did it! We beat the level despite all of that awful. Despite the fact that we are slowly dying. Oh, uh, we have gained all of these items. And we are going to get out of here. <laughs> alive somehow. Oh boy! That was that was a fun run. Uh so we've done that. Nice. Alright, and uh under normal circumstances you would go through and uh you would actually so so when I go here to the door, it would unlock more things on the next level that I don't want to spoil at all. Uh but there are things there. Um but we're gonna go back here to our tech tree thing. 
and you can uh, buy things. So you get active blessings. So, like for example, right now I have 20% extra uh, damage reduction while in the light and it illuminates farther. Uh, and I have gained 50% uh, more damage for 6 seconds after getting hit. Uh, but I can unlock all of these different skills and put them into these slots uh, using different currencies. Uh, there's the uh, Crystal Skulls, uh, which you earn by just running through levels. And then uh, there are these like red ruby brooches uh, that you unlock by beating certain levels as well. Uh, there's an armory, so as you go through you unlock the different weapons uh, that you will see in your runs using those jade bracelets that we picked up. Uh, and they're all very, very cool. Uh, there is weapon altars, so these are the things that when I wandered in there, um, you would see, uh, you saw me pick up some different weapons at the beginning of the game. Usually you start off with a machete and a standard pistol, uh, but they're not very good, so I've been upgrading these to try and get some better stuff to start. And then divine favors, uh, you increase it and you get to start out with divine favors. Uh, but yeah, that has been, uh, a quick look at, uh, Curse of the Dead Gods. Uh, I'm glad that we ran through that all. And, um, I hope that, uh, anybody out there who has played Hades or is interested in this kind of a game gives it a shot. Um, like I said, this one's available for Switch right now. I know it's available on PC. I believe Xbox and, uh, PS... 4 as well, uh, potentially PS5, um, although who knows, who knows with that thing. Uh, but until the next time, guys, keep, keep playing games. Go, uh, go delve through an ancient tunnel. Or cave, or whatever this is. Alright.